Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, first I want to apologize to you. The channel got off track for a while, but it's getting back on track. So there's that. And finally, the truth came out with Odin. A lot of you have noticed it. A lot of Higgins seem to notice it. God takes us so far, and then they can't take us any further, and they give us up to another god. And I thought of what some of the other gods and goddesses had said to me. Um, a lot of them were actually arguing on his behalf. Now, gods don't magically run out of power. They don't have, like, a stack of stuff to give you, and once the stack's gone, they don't know what to tell you. It just seems that they have a certain amount of influence with some people like me, and once they reach that, they can do tiny little things, but there is no yacht in my future. At least it's not coming from Odin, and I don't know what I'd do with one, but it's not my future that I know of. And I decided I was going to keep him anyhow. I'm going to keep all of them. And I told him there's just going to be some basic ground rules. No one can fight with anyone. And there's no head me. There's no top dog. Or we should say top doge. There's no top doge. So, all last night it was heckin' good doge. So, um, but in all seriousness, you know, um, we have a privilege. We have the privilege to be able to keep our gods on after, if they choose after they've hit the limit of whatever they have to teach us or have to give us. Odin's indicated, and a lot of them have indicated with me, that with me, don't don't panic, not with you, but with me, they've reached a limit of what they can give me and what they can teach me. I'm thinking, wow, I ran a god out already. <laughs> and I'm hearing laughter back here, and I said, I don't care. I said, I don't care if any of you can't do anything. I said, you know, you're the gods that have loved me, and he still loved me. Poor Odin, um, he just kept trying to get back in, even though he, he was like, I don't have anything to offer you at this point. And I'm like, I don't care, you're staying. Um, and that's not something that makes me morally better than anyone else, and that's not me telling you to brag, but it's an option I think we should discuss that we have. We have the ability to, um, keep our gods around. And to still serve them and still love them. They don't have to be able to do anything for us. They took care of our ancestors. And this isn't an obligation, by the way. They took care of our ancestors. They watched over us the best we could. And now, you know, it's kind of like having... I was calling them good little doshis. Because it's kind of like having a cat or dog today. The vast majority of people that have cats or dogs for companions aren't having the cat be a mouse. Or they aren't having the dog be, you know... Um sled dog or a ranch dog or something. The doshi's just little doshi. So, um, I'm gonna keep them all. And they're all really relaxed and Odin's not trying anything and it's not Odin's exhausted. It's just he feels really safe now and since he came out and he said he couldn't do anything else for me. I was like, it's okay. I'm glad you finally admitted it. I wonder what was bothering you so badly. And so we'll have him, and we'll have Loki, and we'll have everything else, and the Loa were around, and Ogu was telling me he couldn't fix stupid, but he was proud of me, and telling me about, you know, loyalty to your family, even when your family can't do anything for you, you're still loyal to them. Um, so, yeah, it's been good. It's just been, it's been, um, the house is all settled now, and it feels odd because I haven't felt it settled for a year and a half, but it feels settled and, like, it's actually settled fixed. Probably because with Papa Ogu here, nobody's going to do anything <laughs> at all whatsoever. Um, so, you know, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. That is not quite how I meant to tell you, but I'm, like, really tired. I was up really late last night working with them all, working off the groundwork. And then, of course, a guy that cuts my lawn came super early for me. I hate summer, so I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.